It's taking too long. Patience. Patience. I don't see what patience has to do with this. It should have happened by now. Life keeps to its own timetable, not ours. Oh, it doesn't stop us from trying. Good morning. Your ruler has risen. Rejoice and let bellow the horns of birth. Right. I know how strange all of this looks, but there's an easy... Immortal protector of the nation, progeny of the great bloodlines, master of strategies, eternal conductor, and forger of matrimony. We're here to advise you on how to handle ruling and commanding... The horns of battle! Every time! Fine, we'll have to do this later. The Cadence is attacking. Heroes, jump in! Get in there! The ruler will be with you shortly! And off they go. We'll explain later. We just need you to take command, because our citizens, understandably, find it hard to trust a giant talking chalice. We are not just a giant talking but chalice. But the nation will listen to you, because you're of their blood. Forged from the bloodlines of the great houses. Oh, and one last thing. Unfortunately, the bloodline ritual that was used to create you also bound you to us. So you can never leave the throne. But do not despair and still command your heroes. Look inward, and you will find that your mind can follow them anywhere. You see your heroes yet? Yeah? Great. Now, take command and search the area. The Cadence is out there somewhere. First catch of the day. We can't tell you much about the Cadence because not much is known. It's old, first sighted centuries ago, and it cares only for destroying our nation with its corruption. That's where pawns like you see here come in. Think of them as attack dogs the Cadence creates to spread corruption in the world. Arguably the lowliest of pawns are more nuisance than menace. But if you're going to remember one thing, don't let those runts form a posse. Keep them apart. Otherwise it'll be like when caber jacks get together at a tavern. Except not the best night of your life. This is a caber jack. They hit things with a caber. Sometimes they hit hard and put things down. Other times they hit not so hard and just knock things out. That's all you're going to say? Simplest way of life there is. Caber jacks. Profound purveyors of violence.
about that, eh? One down, untold millions to go. Cadence cowards. They'd rather stay back and snipe at you than fight up close. Be wary. If your heroes are hit, they may forget some of their combat training. The mind is just as vulnerable as the body. Could have been avoided. That could have been worse. At least they belong to heroic weapons. Oh yes, I forgot to mention. Normal humans cannot survive even a single touch from the kings. But because the bloodlines of your heroes are attuned to us and have our power flowing through them, they have a fighting chance. Expected. Well done. Well done. I knew you'd have a knack for this. Right. So this is our nation, and as we said, we are not in the best of shape. That muck you see surrounding us is the Cadence. It's what created the pawns, corrupted our lands, and is slowly tightening on us like a noose. But we do have one advantage. Thanks to several enchanted materials that make up our body, we've been endowed with certain powers. One of them being a way to cleanse the Cadence from this world. 
It's really quite a miraculous process wherein we harness the properties of... The thing is, it takes a long time for us to charge up for this. A long time. All of the heroes you just commanded in battle will be long gone when we're finally ready. With all that time still ahead, we need you to protect us. You will take charge of the nation, command its citizens worthy of becoming heroes, and ensure that the cadence does not reach the capital. Now let's check out that keep you just saved. The keeps. Bloodline forgers of the nation. The stonemasons did good work here. I'll thank them later. Here you will appoint one hero as a regent and one as a partner. And the more experience they have, the more they'll pass on to their children. That goes for traits and personalities too. Everything's game. And keep in mind, Assigning heroes to keeps retires them from combat. You can't have one foot at home and one in the battlefield. Now that your regent is appointed, it's time to decide on a partner. Although this isn't an arrangement out of love, who knows? Maybe it'll turn into that. We've seen it happen. Personality, traits, experience, they're all important here. But just because this is an arrangement of necessity doesn't mean you should reduce these heroes to a pile of numbers, either. They deserve better than that. Many happy returns. Let's give the newlyweds some privacy, eh? It's a lot to take in, but you'll handle it, or your mind will become as cracked as our body. You'll be fine. Now then, please join us back at the capital so we can show you some of your other responsibilities. And welcome back. You are here, right? It's a little hard to tell if you're still in your mind's eye or whatever. This is where your heroes return to after battle. From here, we equip them with any skills or weapons they may have earned, as well as perform research. Basically, we can devote some of our power to help the war effort and the nation. Whether it's building new keeps, starting a Sage Rites Guild, or a Standards Crucible. Fun stuff. Building more keeps is likely the most pressing option, as you'll be able to foster more bloodlines. But don't shun the other possibilities. With your approval, you can research weapons, potions, armor, 
the amount of time required dissuades you from researching something, consider the Sage Rites Guild. Any hero who joins the Sage Rites will hasten the time required for any pursuit. You'll never see combat again. Keep in mind, most of our power is focused on charging up to cleanse the Cadence, so we can only devote enough energy to research one thing at a time. That includes searching for new heroes. It takes a lot of effort to find people attuned with us, and it'll only get harder the more we do it. But choose whatever you want. Yeah, one more thing. The end of this war is not even a glimpse on our horizon yet, but your immortality gives us an advantage. The ability to step back and let time pass. You can start and stop this timeline at will, but we'll also stop it for you should something require your attention. Like a cadence attack. That is... The horns of birth. Cause for celebration indeed. Babies have been born before today. And it was glorious every time, was it not? What, unbearable shrieking and smells that are even worse? That's your idea of glorious. Yes. This feels weird accomplishing something without having beaten it into submission. Hmm. Should have seen my books after I was done with them. Ah, Sage Rites Guild. I was always jealous of those in my class who went on to join their ranks. They ended up designing the rotary trebuchet, still used in keeps to this day, as well as the first Oakenstone crossbow. First time I went to one, I came in for an armor fitting, and by the end, both of my arms were on fire. <laughs> what a bunch of brilliant scamps they are. The first of many, I hope. The thrills of battle are a hard thing to leave, but I always found the thrills of inquiry and invention to be worthy substitutes. Just don't get carried away with appointments. Sage rites can never return to battle, and last I checked, we still need heroes to win this war. 